my channel so um i'm just gonna sit here and like clean all of well my makeup brushes and my mum's makeup brushes um just because i don't know i have the day off from work and i need something to do because i'm going crazy um and then i was like well i might as well film a video at the same time um, so I thought that you could keep me company while I sit and clean over probably about 100 makeup brushes. <laughs> I don't know why I've subjected myself to this, but oh well. Um, and I thought that we could chat about Katie Keen because I was going to film my Katie Keen review anyway, but then I'm going out tonight and I know I'm going to be rushing, so I probably shouldn't film it while I'm doing the makeup, but so I thought we'd just film it now. Just chat and yeah. So the brush cleaner I'm using is the Blender Cleanser, the Beauty Blender one. Um, there's one in Jill as well. And I'm not sure if I'm going to say what's going to be famous, but it's actually one. Minty, like whatever it is. Um, yeah, I didn't really want the like, Minty Jill, like, I don't know, Minty, like, I don't know, but I'm going to put this in the device, like, it's got the bottom on top, so you can, like, probably, like, some makeup brushes. So that's, yeah. I mean, you probably didn't care about that at all, but there you are. I have my little bowl of water here and my towel. You can't see any of that. Um, but let's just get started. I missed um, a couple of episodes. Oh, also, in case you're wondering, I mean, you're probably, it's probably obvious, but I just dunk the brush in, swirl it in there, and then I pop this in the lid and just go like over the top. You probably can't see. The Valentine's Day episode I absolutely loved. Um, I loved like the aesthetics of it and just everything i thought it was so well done um ko i don't know I even know what to talk about first let's talk about ko katie and ko so um their breakup was so sad um i kind of like saw it coming i think they will get back together i think it'll probably be more either towards like the very end of the series like the finale or maybe next season if they get renewed for a second season hopefully um yeah i don't think they'll just have them get back together straight away because it was quite like a big moment but i do definitely think they'll get back together at some point i wasn't sure about that guy guy um he um like when they were kind of setting him up to be a love interest for katie i was a bit like who is this man but he has he wasn't in episode five, so maybe he was just like a one off character. Um But I thought that his episode was a really good one, like when they were all like running around trying to get him to um take the opportunity at Lacey's and I thought that episode was really funny and when they had to dress up as the cops. I really love um Jorge's boyfriend. I think he is so sweet and I love that Jorge actually has someone now um, who is like proud of him and just like loves him and loves Ginger and loves all of that like I just yeah I think that's so sweet and then um, Peppa as well I just love um, the like the representation on the show there's like the way they have like different sexualities and just walks of life you know there's just it's just so good they've got such a wide range and i feel like there's a character in there that everyone can gravitate to and relate to um and i just think that's so important to have um good representation you know for people to be able to watch tv and be like i get that like that's what i'm going through or that's what i've been through or that's how i feel i just think that's so special when shows can do that for people and i feel like kate keen is really a show like that like in the newest episode when um jorge told his mom about ginger i thought that was just such a moving scene i thought that was so so nice and um it was just really, yeah, it was just a really beautiful moment and I really enjoyed it. And I think a lot of other, I think a lot of people will really, that will really resonate with them and they'll really relate to that. Like when Pretty Little Lies first came out, 
and um, Emily came out to her dad. It's moments like that on TV that some people who maybe don't have as great a support system as others and that kind of need that, you know, in with TV shows and with movies and stuff to be like there are people that go through what I go through even if it's not that exact scenario but it's like a like a element of that of having to tell your parents something you know really hard or your friends having to share a part of your life that you're worried people will judge you for you know and to see that acceptance is I think it's really important to show in tv and movie you know they make you feel like everyone is just your friend like you're just like hanging out with them and just being a part of their life like with pepper and they've shown her like with a girl and with a guy and it's not a big plot point it's not it's just pepper's just living her life living her best i absolutely love that because that's how it is in real life like when you have a group of friends you aren't that's not the center of attention all the time and I love the fact that her sexuality is just like part of her character but it isn't her whole character like it's not a giant plot point or anything like that it's just natural and like normal how it is in real life I think episode 5 might be my favourite episode so far um, I just loved that for me I really enjoy friendship in TV shows. I love the bonds of friendship and that's, I think that's why I love Pretty Little Liars so much is that like core friendship between the girls and I think that's really what you get with Katie Keene as well is just that feeling of like friendship and just I think it's so much for me anyway it, I find it so much more interesting and so much more moving than relationship side of things um i still enjoy those parts i love a rom-com like i love a good romance but something about like friendships just really i don't know it really pulls me in um and when they were fighting and you had like jorge and katie were arguing and you had pepper and josie and i love the i think i said it in my previous video as well um but i love the even though katie keen is a feel-good movie it does show like the realities of life and that's what friendships are like they're hard they're you're not going to get on all the time and when you have four completely different people you're going to clash um but i just think it was just such a nice episode and show really like showed like a true friendship and i just really really enjoyed it and it was nice to see a more um like emotional side to the show as well um with katie talking about her mom um and jorge and their friendship and everything i just really really love this episode i thought it was really really good and really well done and i am really loving the musical numbers as well um i have um lucy hell's album like i have the actual physical cd and then i listen to it on spotify all the time um, I think she's such a talented singer and same with, well same with all of them, they're so so talented. I really love a musical, like I love the feel good vibes that musicals have and just like the joy that they bring. Is like, Mamma Mia is my favourite movie of all time. Um, but, and I don't know, I just really love the fun that those musical sequences bring to Katie Keene and it gives it something different and something just so vibrant and fun and lovely i just love it i really do it's easily becoming one of my absolute favorite shows of all time because it is just after you watch it you just have that feeling of like yeah like i'm gonna chase my dreams i'm gonna you know do whatever i want to do that real feeling of just solidarity and hope and i don't know it's it's so weird to like talk about a tv show like that but for a lot of people tv show and tv shows and movies they're very they're all about like escapism um and 
being able to just kind of step out of your reality for a little while and step into someone else's. I really wonder what Josie's going to do. Like, I don't... In the... When I first watched that episode where she got offered the check, I was like, no, Josie's not going to do that. Like, she's got more morals than that. But then, like, today, after she told Alex and Alex was like, you should go for it, I just feel like it's going to, like, absolutely blow up in her face when he actually finds out the real reason. Like, I can just kind of see that, like, coming. Or, like, Sandra's going to find out or something, like... I don't know that bit is like inevitable i feel like but i really like them together and i was kind of hoping she would just tell him but obviously the plot has to go forward but i really like them together and i do hope they end up together i was absolutely i don't know <laughs> i was gonna say i was like absolutely shook about alex and zandra but then i'm also kind of not like it really makes sense like when he bought her that robe and like he kissed her on the cheek or she kissed him on the cheek i was like this is weird like and then i i think i talked about it in my um other keiki video but i literally could not remember his name for like four episodes i don't know what it was i don't know what was wrong with my brain but i just could not remember his name and then when i was watching it and i was like wait he's called alex and she's called alex like but then yeah to find out that they actually dated i was like that makes so much more sense it's really off-putting because my tea looks the same colour as this water at the moment. I actually really enjoy Zandra's character. Obviously, she's a villain and you're not supposed to like her, but I still do. <laughs> um, I think she's great. Like, in that, like, love to hate kind of way. Like, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy her character. I think she's really cool. Obviously, she's, like, getting in the way of Josie and Alex and all that. And I was not surprised in the slightest when um, Pepper was like, yeah, um, Zandra leaked her own story. And I was like, yes. Like, I knew Pepper wouldn't. Like, Pepper would never. I love Pepper. I love all of them four. Like, the core four, I love them all so much. And, yeah, like, the musical numbers, I just love it. I love everyone gets, like, their chance to shine. I don't know. I feel like I haven't really seen much about it online, but it's such a good show. Like, everyone should watch it. Just follow your dreams. Everyone should watch it. The whole thing about Katie's mum and the sewing machine, I have a theory. I think, oh my god, this like throws it back to the PLL times. <laughs> I think that LL is Mrs. Lacey, that woman, that old, old lady. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, I was about to call her an old lady. No, old lady. Who, like, runs Lacey's. She was the one that came in and told Katie off after she kind of, like, messed it up with Guy. Um, Katie called her Mrs. Lacey. And I think maybe, like, she gave um, Katie's mum the sewing kit. I'm not sure. I don't really... Um, the sewing machine, sorry. I don't really know. But that was just my first, like, thought. Is, like, maybe... Katie's mum like designed for them or she knew them somehow and maybe that's why Gloria's like harder on Katie and like kind of protects her and she wrote her that letter and she was kind of not there for after her and KO broke up but she has those moments where she seems like she cares um and I think maybe that's why because they did know Katie's mum there um and maybe that's why I don't know she didn't want to give her the shopper position because she like knows that katie's like destined for more than just the shopper position she wants her to follow her designs that's why she's giving her the letter for her school i don't really know i feel like there's definitely a lot more to that story there and the stuff with the katie's mom literally almost made me cry like it was so emotional um and it's just so sweet like and it's so real that's what i love about katie like even in the like whimsical side of it where it is all magical and like follow your dreams living your dreams out in new york they have those really raw moments that just make it so good and like really pad it out and just i don't know they tackle like true like issues and it is like all of, like it's real emotional and i really enjoy it yeah i feel like i definitely don't have enough to talk about to sit through and do all these brushes <laughs> um but i might just show you like at the end all my nice clean brushes um but yeah so i'll try and do like the next one just a video on its own or the next two instead of like throwing all three in because i do feel like i've kind of not forgotten but 
I feel like I would have had more to talk about if I'd just done them straight after I watched the episodes. But yeah, um, tell me what you think about Katie Keen. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, actually not like it, it's so good. I think I'm gonna start re-watching 90210. Again, I love 90210. Um, so if you want like video like videos on that or like my opinions, that's like the new 90210, like the remake um, with Shanae and um, Adeline and all that. I absolutely love it. So I'm rewatching that at the moment. Um, so I might film some videos on that as well. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I felt like just like chatting and just I'm literally just in my pajamas. I got my green tea. <laughs> like it's very casual here. No makeup. But yeah, um...